sounds very much like the last time I saw Paris. <laughs> the last time I saw Mao Zedong was uh, in Yan'an in 1944. And he was dancing gaily in a, on the padded ground of an apple orchard in Yan'an with the local bells in their padded suits. And uh, he was having a very fine time. Ray Ludden, Jack Service, John Davies, John Emerson. In 1944, they were American diplomats in China. Japanese armies occupied most of North China. Yan'an was the wartime headquarters of the Chinese communists. This is the story of the last time that American officials met on a friendly basis with the leaders of communist China and the lost opportunities and personal tragedies that resulted. We felt that it was essential that the United States uh, have uh, observers in this area in contact with the communist leaders uh, so that we would have a realistic appraisal of their power potential and what they might mean for the future. Our only uh, purpose in talking to the communists was, uh, was to find out what the hell they were doing, how well they were getting on with it, and what, what more they could do. We were fighting a war against the Japanese. And if they could do something to assist the war, then uh, it was to our advantage to have them get on with it. And what could we do to help them? The group that went to Yan'an was called the United States Army Observer Group. But uh, we had a nickname for ourselves that uh, had obscure origin. Uh, we called ourselves the Dixie Mission. Some people said that it was called Dixie because uh, the song about is it true, uh, is it true what they say about Dixie? And others uh, said that uh, it had something to do with rebellion, since Dixie had been the seat of a rebellion. Yan'an is not very far from Japanese-held territory. We had flown very low, sort of through the hills, and we came into this rather barren-looking valley. We expected to see a town or a city, but the city had been bombed by the Japanese, and uh, they simply evacuated the old city of Yan'an. The caves in the sides of the hills really weren't visible from the air, but we did see the pagoda that identified this the site and a small dusty little airstrip. We landed on the strip and there was a crowd waiting at one end. Joe and Lai was there. Joe and Lai had been in Chongqing as the Communist Party representative down there during much of the war. And I and some others had met him. They really had been isolated during the war and for many years before the war. There'd been a few journalists that had visited them in the early years of the war before the blockade in 39. We were just as curious about them as they were about us, I think. 